After treating the studio unorthodox Oppo N1 more than a year ago, the China-based handset maker is now trying to court us with its successor, the Oppo N3. At first sight, the biggest highlight of the device is the swiveling camera at the top. But is this enough to make the entry a household name? I'm Peter K, and this is a brief video review of the Oppo N3. Solid. That's the first thing that will likely pop into your mind when you take hold of the Oppo N3 in your hand. In spite of its large proportions, the device is not unwieldy at all. That said, it still requires a bit of getting used to. If you can stomach its sheer size and weight, the Oppo N3 will pleasantly surprise you with its sturdy build. We can say mostly good things about the build materials too. The device itself is made of polycarbonate which holds no fingerprints, while the surrounding frames are made of aluminum alloy, which has a prominent gap at the very bottom of the phone. The hardware buttons are easily reachable, quite responsive and provide sufficient level of feedback. The 1080p 5.5 inch display of the Oppo N3 has a very good minimum brightness, excellent contrast and that's about it when it comes to the positive things. The rest of the display's properties are truly disappointing. It's not vivid enough and you also have some hard time viewing it under direct sunlight. The display itself is noticeably cold and bluish, and its color accuracy is mostly subpar. What's more, light colors have a noticeable pinkish tint, while the darker ones appear washed out and bland. The viewing angles are mediocre, yet acceptable. The Oppo N3 runs on Android 4.4.4 KitKat with Oppo's own ColorOS 2.0 UI at top which comes without an app drawer similar to Apple's iOS, Xiaomi's MIUI and Meizu's FlyMOS. It does not come with many useless gimmicks aboard, but it's somewhat blunt and lacks character. It's quite functional though. Oppo's ColorOS comes with a convenient double tap to wake and double tap to sleep feature, as well as a number of motion gestures which allow you to directly launch the camera, for example, by drawing an O on the display when the device is asleep or launching the flashlight, for example. In the rear we have a fingerprint scanner that doubles as a wake button. Usually it works as intended and does not fail to register your fingerprint. You can also control the movement of this wheeling camera with it. The Oppo N3 also comes with a remote control called AllClick. It can be used to control the camera shutter and even help you locate your handset. Even more, if you have a notification, it will flash and notify you about it. The quad-core Snapdragon 801 in the phone is paired with some 2GB of RAM. That's a potent hardware combo which proves to be powerful enough for almost any task at hand. Although you might seldom undergo some interface whack and stutter here or there, the entry generally performs in a decent fashion. We had no gripes with the way Oppo N3's hardware perform. The Oppo N3 is an LTE enabled device with two SIM cards on board, a micro SIM and a nano SIM in particular. As far as cool quality matters, the Oppo N3 has a loud earpiece which reproduces voices quite naturally and not muffled at all. The microphone, on the other hand, performs acceptably too, but sometimes it might slightly muffle your voice and make it hard for the calling party to hear you well. Well, this is it, the show-stopping feature of the Oppo N3. Its motorized swivel 16 megapixel camera model rotates at 206 degrees. It can be used as either a regular rear position shooter or a potent front-facing selfie snapper. The camera model can be turned either manually via the fingerprint scanner at the back or with a gesture inside the camera app itself. Just flick and it will rotate autom automatically. The model rotates quickly, yet it feels a bit wobbly when resting in its default position. We have different software modes in store on the Oppo Entry's camera, for example HDR, Beautify, Partially manual controls and auto panorama. The latter, for example, slowly swivels the camera and captures a panorama by itself. Raw image capture is also on board 
and this is something you don't see every day. The image quality of the camera is perfectly acceptable. The camera exposes the scene correctly without any noticeable color aberrations, though you might see some noise here or there. The color temperature of the photos is a bit on the cold side, yet color reproduction is quite natural. The camera also doubles as a selfie snapper and we can attest that it produces some quite good looking selfies. In terms of video recording, the camera of the Oppo N3 focuses a little bit slowly, but at least the videos are correctly exposed and with almost no rolling shutter effect. There is no optical image stabilization though, 4K video recording didn't make the cut either. The Oppo N3 comes with Oppo's own suite of multimedia apps such as music, videos and photos. The video player is capable of playing most of the more popular video formats, while the audio player comes with a basic set of controls and settings. The loudspeaker at the bottom of the device is very loud, yet the sound quality is pretty mediocre at best. If you, however, disable the Enabled by default Max Audio Equalizer option, you will generally enjoy clearer and more natural sounds. The 3000 mAh battery at the rear of the phone provides a battery life that's average at best. It lasted for 6 hours and 25 minutes in our custom battery test, which is subpar in comparison with similar Snapdragon 801 devices, such as the HTC One M8 and the Samsung Galaxy S5. As a refresher, both of these achieve better results despite having smaller batteries. However, the Oppo N3 charges itself quite fast, just in 19 minutes. Well, the Oppo N3 is definitely not a bad phone, but it leaves a prominent meh aftertaste in our mouths. While it's certainly an improvement over the Oppo N1 in certain areas, it also proves to be a serious downgrade in some substantial ones. We can't help but feel that Oppo is running in one and the same place with the Oppo N3, and although it has several noteworthy merits, it generally failed to impress us. Considering its flagship price of $649, the Oppo N3 should have been way more refined than it currently is. That's why it gets a phone or in a rating of 7. This was Peter K. For the full review of the Oppo N3, head to phonearena.com.